Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect Debian 12 EC2 instance on AWS. I have connected to my AWS management console. See, these are the recently visited services. If you are unable to see EC2 here, click on services or click on search, then search for EC2. Then click on EC2. This is the EC2 dashboard. Here we can see list of the instances running elastic IP load balances, snapshots, auto scaling groups, instances, placement groups, volumes, dedicated hosts, key pairs, and security groups. These are the other options. We can create an instance by clicking on this launch instance or click on instances. Both are same. Now click on launch instance. Provide the name for the EC2 instance that is Debian 12 EC2. Okay, name can be anything, but it should be meaningful. Now we have to search for Debian 12 Amazon Machine Image. See here in Quick Start, we are unable to find. Now click on this browse more AMIs. Then search here Debian. and hit enter. See, we have Debian 12 SSD volume type. But here we are able to see only one. Click on this AWS Marketplace AMIs. See here, we have all Debian versions like Debian 11, 11, 12, 10, like all we have. See, we have different Debian distros. Now we are going to install 12. Click on this select. See, this is the cost and this is the version that is Debian 12. Then, and this is the pricing information. This is the usage support details. Click on continue. See, Debian 12 is selected. Next instance type, T3 micro is free type eligible. T3 micro is two CPUs and one gigabytes memory. If you want to select more CPUs and memory, then click on here. Then you can select anyone. If you change anything, then price will be increased. So for this demo, I'm selecting free T3 micro which is pre eligible. Next is key pair. Key pair is used to connect to the EC2 instance securely. In the drop down we don't have any key pairs. Click on create new key pair. Provide the name for key pair. Here key pair type is RSC. Private key file format we have two types, PEM and PPK. PEM is for open SSH and .PPK is for PuTTY. I am going with PEM file. Click on create key file. Once we click on create key file, it will be downloaded. Okay. Click on here and see here. Download started and it has been downloaded. This is the Debian PEM file. Next network settings. See here subnet is not assigned. Auto SN public IP is assigned. VPC is assigned. If you want to edit these settings, click on edit. If you are unable to see VPC, click on services, then click on VPC. Open this VPC in new tab. Then click on VPCs. Click on create new VPC. Like this, we can create. In the same way, click on subnets. Click on create subnet. Like this, we can create it. From the drop down, select the VPC. Any one of them. As in subnets, select from the list. I'm going with first one. Then auto assign public IP. By default, it has enabled. Keep it is enabled. Next, security group. 
you want to create new security group for this EC2, select this radio button. Otherwise, if you want to select an existing one, select existing security group. From the drop down, select the list of the available security groups. Additional network configurations. See, these are additional things. I'm not going to select any one of them. Next, storage. By default, it has selected 8 GB. We can do up to 30 gigabytes for pre-type eligible. See the notification here. Pre-type eligible customers can get up to 30 GB of EPC general purpose SSDR magnetic storage. We want to add additional volume. You have to click on this new volume, but it is paid, but it is chargeable. Next, advanced details. To expand this one. If you want to join this instance to existing domain, you have to select. Otherwise, create new directory. But at present, I am not going to join anywhere. I am keeping all these as same, not changing anything. But in your case, configure as per your requirement. Next is user data. This is option, but what it will do? Whatever the commands or scripts we have uploaded here, those will be executed at the time of EC2 instance boot. Okay. This is the summary. Number of instances, one. If you want to more, we have to give two, like this. I'm going with one. This is the AMI information. This is the virtual server type and firewall. We have selected default one. This is the storage limit. If you are okay with the summary, click on launch instance to create the instance. See, it is performing these actions. See, it is still taking time. Wait some time. Click on instances, click on dashboard, refresh. Refresh until you get the instance ID here. Click on refresh until you get the instance ID here. See, instance state is running. Click on instance ID. Notice here, this, this is the instance ID. This is the public IP. This is the private IP. This is the this is the instance state, and this is the public IP for DNS. Okay, this is required to connect to the Debian EC2 instance. Host type, private type, private IP DNS name, instance type, last IP address we haven't added. This is the public IP. See, both are same. This is the platform Debian and platform details, AM and other options. Now we will see how to connect to this Debian EC2 instance, which is hosted on AWS. Click on connect. See, username is admin for Debian machine. And this is the public IP. We have these four options to connect to the EC2 instance. EC2 instance connect. Try to click on this connect will throw error. Why? Because this option is only for Amazon Linux. Session manager, we have to configure the option that suits for us SSH client. Copy this entire string. Okay. Now, open command prompt. Go to that PIM file we have downloaded. Downloads. Let's verify PEM file is there or not. Yeah, yeah. See, we have the PEM file. Now, copy this string and paste here and hit enter. Surely, this will be failed. Why? I will show you the reason and solution for the failure. We will get the timed out error.
C we have received connection timed out error also notice here the port is 22 go to EC2 instance click on security then click on this security group then click on this edit inbound rules here click on add rule click on SSH see the port has taken is 22 here we have to give IP if you know the IP range you have to give otherwise click on my IP then click on when I selected my IP it has populated my IP information then click on save rules the inbound property see once inbound rule is added it is there here now go to command prompt and run the same command see now we are able to connect type s and it enters see here we have connected to admin and this is the ipf ec2 instance but it is local ip go to ec2 see this is the ip 172, 31, 19, and 228. Let's verify whether this is Debian machine or not. More slash etc os hyphen release. See, it is Debian Linux 12 and its flavor is bookworm. This is the version number. Okay. ID is Debian. Press Q to fit from this output. Control L to create the screen. Now go to instances. If you want to stop or restart or terminate, you have to select the instance from this instances list and click on instance state. Then here we have stop, reboot or terminate. If you are not using, it is always recommended to click on the stop instance because AWS charges based on the usage. So in this video, we have seen how to create and connect to Debian 12 EC2 instance on AWS. For more AWS or cloud videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.